Hey, what's up guys, Tactaholics here, kicking off a sponsorship video with Tax Strike Steel Targets. What we have here is the Fat Boy, as we call it. This is their full-size steel silhouette system. This thing's a monster. Uh, rifle, pistol, shotgun capabilities, everything is completely reversible. All the components are completely replaceable, making this one of the biggest bang for your buck targets you can get. You got three eighths inch steel, uh, AR500 steel. The brittle hardness of the steel is what actually gives it some of its resiliency to take uh, high caliber rounds. This thing is rated up to 50 BMG. Um, we talked with Rob from Tax Strike when he supplied us with the target, and he said, I want you guys to break my stuff. You know, the money that you're spending on this target, this thing goes for about $400. Um, the money that you're spending on it should be money well spent. So he's not going to sell you a target and say, this is the best thing out there, but don't hurt it, don't shoot it with this. He told us to really run it through its paces. We got rifles, we got pistols, and we got shotguns. We're going to go ahead and load them up, smoke check this thing, and see how it goes. On the bottom of the full-size steel target here, we have four independent brackets that actually support the weight of the target. And up here at the shoulders, we have two shoulder brackets here. Now what makes this really unique is you'll see a lot of other steel targets out there that, you know, it's a steel plate with a pocket on the back and, and you just kind of hang the steel plate on a plate or a post, I mean, uh, whereas this thing needs to be assembled every time you want to shoot it. But what that complete assembly and disassembly process means is that you are good to break each of these individual components or replace them as needed. Now I was told from Rob at Tax Strike that if we happen to shear off a couple of these brackets here, the target should still perform just fine. So this thing is incredibly over-engineered. The next nice thing about it is that all these bolts that hold it together, if you step around the back here, these are all just 9 16 standard bolts, get them at a hardware store. So if for some reason you manage to snap some of this hardware off, again, very easily replaceable. So looking down, the target hangs on here. We have the shoulder brackets to keep it in place, and then this upright screws right into your base right here. So everything just gets real simple, you know, quick and easy bolt together. The base, as you'll notice, also has two side pockets that hold individual 2x2 two two wooden uprights if you wanted to run something uh, a little bit lighter or a little bit different setup from this target here. And you can notice that the back side of the target is painted white, the front side is black. That's because we're using it as a reversible target to increase the longevity of of what we got. White sides for rifle shotgun, black sides for pistol. We're all loaded up, bolted in. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so you've seen the pistol application, the pistol side, what we're using for pistols of our Tax Strike Fat Boy. We're going to go ahead and flip it around, walk you through that procedure. 9 16 socket wrench. Go ahead and loosen these things up. It can be a little bit cumbersome by yourself, but it's really not too bad once you get the hang of it. But if you're unsure, you can always, you know, take it to the range with a friend to get used to Moving the target around by yourself, certainly not something you want to drop. It weighs probably 70, 80 pounds by itself, just the, the plate. Uh, so there's a lot of weight here. But really overbuilt. I mean, you can look at the machining of this, you know, huge bolts and, you know, the, the metal that they bend these brackets and stuff out of. This thing is made to take some punishment and not come apart. Go ahead and loosen up the other side here. So I like to set all my hardware up here while leaning on the plate with my forearm so it doesn't fall down. Go ahead and grab it, 
pop it right down. That's all there is to that. And you can see here, we actually managed to loosen up one of these lower brackets down here. We'll go ahead and tighten that, but four is way overkill for that thing. Um, now what's interesting about this is that the, the bar stock or whatever this metal is for the uprights and for the base is not quite as hard and quite as resilient as a steel plate. But what Tax Strike incorporated on the front is this little blast shield. If you look how it's kind of overbuilt right here. This is the same 3 8 inch AR500 that they're using on their plates. So if you do throw around low below the target or your splatter, you can see we got some hits down there and some fragmentation. That's certainly not going to chop up or disintegrate the actual upright post itself. So the thing is way overbuilt. We're going to go ahead, flip it around here. Set the bottom in, try to kind of line the top up. The upper shoulder brackets just make an L going outside the target so that they can hold it in place just like that. Again, kind of find a way to support it while you get those bolts started. And that's really all there is to it. So the longest part of this process, the most tedious part of this process, is screwing in these bolts. Really not too big of a deal. I think it's a heck of a design here that Tax Strike has. And one of the things I really like is, as we mentioned before, one side we've designated for handgun rounds, the other side has been designated for shotguns and rifles. So you really increase the longevity of your target. You know, again, I don't think that it's worth complaining about because the target needs to be assembled when you want to go ahead and use it. I think that the increased lifespan of the target and versatility of the target is well worth the time it takes to screw these bolts in. So quit whining about it and go pick one up. Get these things tightened down by hand. Go ahead and crank them in nice and firm. We don't want this thing falling out. The vibration certainly might help rattle things loose. So I put a you know, fair amount of pressure on there. We're going to go ahead and tighten up this lower bolt right here. Don't really know how it came loose, but it's no big deal. There's nothing wrong with it. So if you look underneath here, this is how you can tighten, adjust, or replace any of those lower brackets. And we'll check the bottom bracket here. The upright still nice and secure, still nice and firm. And you can see this thing rocks around a little bit, but it's really not too bad. There's enough weight hanging forward in, in the angles and stuff that they put into this that the angle of the weight and the amount of weight that's leaning forward over the target base, you could hit this thing with some pretty big stuff and I don't think you're going to have a problem. We got the shotgun rifle side loaded up. Let's go grab the shotguns and rifles.
Well, that's why I haven't shot yet. I didn't want to show you guys up. Yeah. Thanks for bringing her out. <laughs> that's my girl. So there you go, guys. We have several hundred rounds into this target. We put uh, the M855 green tip, you know, scary AR-15 rounds into it, full metal jacket, 5.56 five, rounds. Uh, we put a number of slugs, 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter slugs, and buckshot into this. Uh, really no issues whatsoever on the plate. You can bring it in right here, and I mean, there's there's nothing going on, no pitting or denting of the plate or anything that way. We do have a couple battle scars here up in this shoulder bracket. Don't know which round or what caliber that was that kind of sheared that off a little bit, but there's still a lot of material there, so I'm not worried about that. Come over to the other shoulder bracket. This managed to loosen up a little bit, so maybe I didn't torque him down hard enough. Um, you know, maybe we should have checked it more often, but you know, it's still, if you back around the back side here, the bolt is still plenty far in, which is another one of the advantages of having an overbuilt target, you know, big bolts and stuff. It's not going to fall apart very easily. The next thing is coming down the bottom. Two of these lower brackets did manage to loosen up a little bit. These two here on the outside. This middle one here is one of the ones that loosened up earlier. Uh, and we tightened that down and these center two are still really tight and these are the only two that loosened up but again looking down the side of this channel here you can see how much bolt you actually have left so again just like the shoulder brackets we're not coming anywhere close to losing this thing it could easily just be tightened back up with a wrench and the plate is still just as secure as it needs to be swing the camera around the front really the only casualty happening on the front hand side is we burned a hole in one of those shoulder brackets here, or one of those those L brackets, which is fine because again, according to Tax Strike, you don't need four of these. This is way overbuilt, over-engineered, um, and you know we're just going to throw this thing away. Might leave it on there because it's still serving a purpose. Uh, the steel plate behind it isn't damaged whatsoever, but regardless of this thing, the plate's still good to go. You know, looking down here. You know, some of the rounds are kicking shrapnel out. You can see pieces on the ground. We managed to find some of our slugs and stuff, pick them up. It's pretty, pretty cool stuff. The shrapnel radius is, I think we're, we're kicking shrapnel back about 10 feet, 15 feet. Now don't hold us to it. Tax Strike does advise certain parameters and distances per caliber being shot into this target. Um, and we're not gonna give any advice that way. But, you know, we put this thing through hell and high water today, and it holds up really well. I am sad to say I think Rob Tackett might be right. Uh, he's probably not going to hear from us for quite a while um, unless we manage to break some more odds and ends on it. But this plate's going to get a workout. So if you're in the market for a steel plate, buy once, cry once, you know, awesome way to train, get instantaneous feedback from your shots as far as hit or miss, and something that's going to be able to take punishment from any caliber you want to throw at it, Tax Strike has you covered. Again, this is the full-size steel target, full-size steel silhouette. We call them Fat Boy here. We like it. Uh, they also make quarter-scale ones and, and a no number of different plates and things like that. So go to their website, www.taxstrike.com. Check them out. See if they have something that can suit your needs. We're going to be checking back in with the Tax Strike targets periodically, you know, throughout the next number of months and videos and stuff. We're happy to be working with Tax Strike, and we would not... Uh, choose a partnership with a company that we didn't believe in and we believe in tax strike so guys as always thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to us here on youtube join the facebook group check us out tacticalholics.com find us now on young guns tv we're proud to be part of that network as well we appreciate you watching let us know what you think of what we did here today comment below with a caliber or a particular gun or something you want to see us shoot into this thing and we'll do our best to get it your way thanks again guys we never quit